Hey everyone, welcome back to our Empire campaign. To let all of you know, there's now a community tab on my page where you can post and respond to my posts too. I can give live updates and all of that. It's pretty darn cool. Okay, let's go look at what we're doing. John Fierenberg was defeated in battle. Two armies came after him. We had to fight major leaders who were really damaging. She's a very high level. She was only Black Dragon and had many more units too. But look at how beat up her army is. Now we can move back for a bit. He's not dead though. He got away. Over here, Otto's still hanging on, that poor guy. We've got a few known gunners. We've got Jean's Revenge and the Great Hammer. They're going to leave for a while. We need them to go away and to go heal up. And while they go heal up, what's over here? Carl Franz will go finish her off. Hopefully she'll be dead forever, I doubt it. But I would love to see her dead. It's very hard for us to fight up here due to the freaking terrain. It's a frozen tundra. We don't really do well here. Which is pretty funny to me because of how many people over on the Juki side are half nude all the time. Their nipples must be like diamonds and we're going to kill her off. Goodbye, lady. I don't think she's dead. No, she's dead. Battle reports over here. All right. Let's bring him back again to heal up. He's going to pop back out later. I'm going to do over Nagron. Increase our replenishment. I'm going to do that. I wish it would increase a little bit more, but it is not. Okay, William. I'm bringing in every army. We're bringing down the Imperial Hammer right now. I'm tired of my campaign up here. I want to end it. I mentioned it over in my Dawi campaign too. In the future, I will never lightheartedly invade a foreign land again. I'm going to come down with a complete shock and awe approach to it. I'm going to overwhelm everyone and destroy them right away. That is my new plan and it will work out. Okay, come over here to Black Light Tower. We're still trying to rebuild things over here. If you have any names for any units for me that are new, let me know. That would be great. Black Spine Mountain over here. Let's go ahead and get that going. Let me keep on looking at what I own right now. The Chill Road. We have Nagaron, but we need to destroy the Druki or they'll keep on attacking me. It's incredible. They have so little, yet they're able to spitefully lash out at me. All right. Gorso, I know you're okay. Let's keep on looking around. Everyone's doing well. Is there anyone able to move? Volkmar's moving down to Lamia. I know, a strange place for him to go to, but he's going down there. Marco Colombo's holding on to the Hell Pit, trying to keep that in order. Hans, I want you to move too. Hans, you'll go after whatever you can. Just go damage him. Good work. Now he's level 25. I'm going to give you Assault Units. I want you to be able to kill everything they have. You'll probably come join me in the future. I'm going to use you extensively. My offices are over here. Yeah, in the future, I'll probably have a separate mod pack. Compiling all the mods I want for my Empire campaign. There's a lot of unique ones I only want for that type of campaign. I could have you fly, but I want you to be more durable. That would let you go after enemy leaders and things like that. But for now, what can I give you? Deadly Blade? I'm going to give you that. There you go. I could give you an armored mount. That is a lot more armor. I do kind of want him to stay on the ground. You know what? Here you go. Enjoy that. A barded warhorse. Yeah, we all need to upgrade after that large fight. Okay, Marcus Fritz, what am I going to give you? I would like to minimize your damage in battle. Here's your magic resistance. Here you go. And immortality for Arthur von Strompen at level 31. We're going to bring him over to the new world. A new and terrible world. Oh yeah, he's coming our way. Victor Von Schnee, let's give you now, hold on, Chain Lightning Tier 2, Our Court of Blessed, we're going to give you Righteous Fury for more melee attack, Vindicator Valoric, let's give you Tenacity, we want you to have more health in battle so that you can last a longer period of time in a battle. Here we go, False Protection, the wizard calls upon the Beneficent Guardian of Light to protect his allies from harm, that is more armor and more melee defense. And now we can end their turn. So we're going to talk about what is greater than an inner circle of knights, and that would be the Grand Master. If an Elector Count wants a knightly order to join him in battle, he's got to ask a Grand Master. Sometimes a Grand Master requires leadership of the army if they are to lend their knights. Usually they are great leaders, so Elector Counts are fine with that. But sometimes it can lead to great ruin if someone, well, has pride and would like to deny them the right of leadership. In 2485, the Elector Count of Ostermark, a young man called Wolfram Hertwig, 
refused to give command to the Grand Master of the Knights of Everlasting Light. Kessler withheld his help, and a teenager count led his troops into a bloodbath, barely escaped with his own life. Now it's known as Hertwig's Folly, and is a cautionary tale to warn those who would let pride blind them from having the help of the greatest of the Empire's warriors. We'll talk about the Reichsguard and other things later. Again, we're covering a lot of knights. If there's any lore that I haven't covered yet that you want to know about, keep on asking me. If you ask me on my Discord or things like that, then it really does help me out. I'll probably put a comment on my community page asking about it too to see what you guys want to hear about if you haven't heard about it already. If you've heard about it already, I won't talk about it again. Unless we're in a future campaign, then I might bring it up here and there. But I'm just trying to talk about new lore in each and every part. I've been doing that non-stop so that people who have been watching each and every part will learn about lore in each and every part. If you're new to the series and you're just watching me to be entertained or whatever like that, or if you just want to learn lore, then you'll know so much more about the game and setting. Be careful what you say, I know it does require you to watch the to know when I talk about it. But... Okay. You want a non-aggression pact. I don't really care about you. I'm not going to be bothering you, so don't bother me. The Silver Host is on there. Waldekir Hellschnicht. What do you want, a peace treaty? You don't get that from me. We're only rank 5. It's incredible. You think we would be stronger. I'm not going to confederate with my little provinces. I really feel like there's no need to. I would rather them have like their 4 to 5 stacks that they usually do have. Wandering around than having a few extra lands that won't really give me that much more money. The northeastern part of the empire is known to be a little bit less wealthy than what you might get in like the southwest all right he's going to be there in a few more turns we can find out who owns it let's go look at it's down here right we need to go down here and potentially conquer it and hold it i don't know what i'm going to do with it i'll probably have a lord and a small garrison hold up in it we still have money well good ethian what am i going to give you now your replenishment is very high so let's go give you not augury conviction what a terrible buff. I would, oh, wait. Augury is actually not too bad. It gives a leadership bonus in nearby units. Okay, take that instead. There you go. Okay. I need all of you to come back because you're going to build up a new army. We're going to need some tough stuff. What am I going to pick up for you while we wait? Well, first off, I want Demogriff Knights that have anti-large. I'm going to pick up a few more knights than usual. Knights of the Blazing Sun, let me keep on looking. Hold on, you're anti-infantry and you are shielded. You're very strong, so I'm going to take two of you too. We're going to take all of that to help me out. Okay. That's a good start. I have my artillery. I don't really want more artillery. I could take Outriders to distract a few of them. I'm not going to do that. I could take even more Knights if I truly want to impact them all. That would be interesting. I kind of like the idea of it. Just kind of overwhelming them with a lot of Knights. Okay, so we're going to probably pick up a few Spearmen. They have a lot of melee defense, and I like that a lot. Crossbows would be nice to have, too. The Dark Shards are armored, but I need to be able to kind of keep my guys behind the line if I want them to hold in an area. Okay, so we'll take two of them. That's going to be all my range units. Then I could take in, let me look at it real quick, some great swords. I could take in, like, three of them. Well, no, two of them, because I need room for another agent. And that will do it. I think that army will work out fine. I'm going to have a lot more Demigurfs than usual. It's going to be a very expensive army. It'll take time. How long to recruit? Six turns total. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad considering what we're getting. Okay, man. I need to find a way to get you out here. So let me try to get you over here. Your raid. It might cause a re re rebellion, but we'll deal with it. We've got to go up here and go handle them. Raboth. She's still alive. She's going to go after potentially Gron. Does Gron have a great garrison? We don't even have a wall over there. So no, we don't have a great garrison at all. She might even retake it. Should have built a great wall over there. What can I get rid of? I'll get rid of that building. Public order is fine. Good. Let's go look at what else we have. The arch lector has got to come help me out later. Which king? I don't even know where he's at. Let's go back down here. Oh, hello. You're kidding me. Is he really that powerful to... Okay. The arch lector is now fighting the witch king. And evidently, I don't have the balance of power in my favor, so now we want to go into battle dealing with that. The Battle of Sigmar's Landing. The Arch Elector Sigismund, the champion, his Vindicators, and Dominique Weiss are now fighting a very powerful spellcaster and a warrior. More powerful, probably, in spellcasting than actually being a warrior, though he is a good warrior. Okay, so they've got a lot of Dark Riders, and again, the Witch King, I've got to focus on him somehow. I'll probably use my Luminarch and a lot of Net of Amin Tox. Let's do it now. Let's go look at what we want to utilize to destroy him. 
as you will should not. I like that little hill, so we're going to use that for sure. Hold on. We're going to leave a few gaps around here just so I can cover more ground. Because what I can do, I can have my Vindicators kind of fill up those gaps for me. Arch Lector, you're going to be in the middle. Other Vindicator over here. I want my Halberds to kind of be on the flanks to kind of keep me safe and all my range units safe too. Okay. Free Company Militia. I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. I'm going to keep you in the middle because you're probably going to end up shooting Malekith. Luminarch, you're going to be over here on the left flank, kind of towards the front lines. And who else do we have? We're missing a few things. Flagellants will be in the rear, helping me hold. And over here, I've got, well, more of them. More holy men. And then we have Dominique. It's going to be in the middle, too. Okay, that's my formation. Let's begin right now. Let's get ready. Where is he at? Is he going to run from me? Oh, okay. I didn't know that's the game that we're playing today. Let's move up. Just a wee bit. I've got a lot of net of Amin talks. We're going to use our Luminarch to blast a few of them. Like that. And already, our holy light is just tearing right through Dread Spears. Enjoy, fool. I'd rather go after him. You know what? Let's try that out. Wait, who's hitting me? Do they have artillery too, or...? Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, well, then I'll go after their, their artillery and hit that instead. That'll work. Let's go look at my formation real quick. Look at my men all together using that Luminarch to hit their artillery. I think we just broke one of their engines already. Let me go check that out real quick. They're right over here, and they only have three left. The Luminarch is still hitting. I could use my net right now, but we're going to wait just for a moment. Just for a wee moment. I'd like to move up even more without my Luminarch. Let me move up just a little bit more like that. Maybe my Vindicators. It's because they can always weasel around me so well. If it wasn't for that, then yeah, I'd probably do whatever else. Okay. I don't really want you over here yet. I should have keep him away. I could use another net of Amin talk to kind of keep a few guys busy. You know what? We're going to do that right now. And then for Dominique, what we're going to do, we're going to use Advanishment right on them. Okay, so what we'll do now, I want my knights to move out. We're going to have one of you come over here to go attack. I want another one of you to come over here. I want my Luminarch to go after the Witch King. We're going to use that to probably reduce. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, let's keep on looking. I got some more Halberds coming out to play. I've got some Free Company Militia. I want to charge in. Let's go ahead and charge in, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Arch Lector, move in. You can go in. Vindicator, come over here. Other Spearmen, come over here. We need to kind of just get together. They're losing a few due to the Banishment. Yeah, they're going to shoot me up if I don't take care of them. So let's go take care of them right now. Free Company Militia, I want all of you to go after. Well, let's move up for a little bit, and then we'll talk about it. Then we can talk about it. And Dominique, I'm going to have you move in just a little while, too. Go ahead and use all your stuff up. There you go. If you want to reduce more damage, you can do that for me. Go attack whoever. Okay, let's go look at the Luminarch. He's hopefully going after... Oh, they only have one artillery piece left already destroying some dark riders I could go after their dark shards instead you know what that'll save a lot more lives all right I don't want any more slow motion let's just go into battle there he is right now he's coming back in going right after Dominique that's okay okay that's not okay they're using bombardments now to tear apart my lines you animals okay never mind we have to go into slow motion for just a wee moment okay other knights you're ready to go fight again let's have you come over here let's have you guys move out over here to go after more of them who's in the middle that's my arch lector fighting off a lot of enemies you're chasing off an enemy too let's bring you back to the front lines i'll have my knights go take care of that my other vindicator come over here and help out dominique he's being thrown around by the blasted witch king so we'll go take care of him let's go look on the left flank i have all my halberds fighting their dark riders so i think we'll be okay let me go look at my other units that are nearby and right now we have Valoric fighting the Witch King alone. He's going for it. Okay. We'll come over here and go take care of them. Those Dark Shards are now gone. Who else do we need to look at? Alright, so we're all on a cooldown due to their Dark spell casting. Let's go over here and net him down right now. And then I'm going to give you more defenses right after. There you go. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to keep on shooting him. And then he's going to charge in too. Let's go look at all of our units real quick. Hold on, we're not done yet. Go ahead and buff them all up. Use your soul fire. What about you? You're over here. We've got some more enemies coming my way. Go hit them right now. Good work. Flagent to want you to move in. I was kind of saving you, but let's move you up now. Go after the Dark Riders and kill them. There's only one group left over here. 
Looks like my Dark Knights are winning the battle. Let's keep on going through this Dark Shards. I wish you would die a little bit faster, but they're not doing that. Not for me, not today. They're not that friendly. Okay. Shim's Burning Gaze come over here. Let's go finish off their infantry now. There's only a few of them left, but it looks like we've won the battle. And he barely made it out. Wish we had him in range. That would be lovely. I would love to hit him right now. Dominique, come over here anyway. I don't think we'll make it. Crap. Yeah, he's too fast. Okay, the battle is over. The Arch Elector won. We've learned, though, how powerful magic is, and no wonder they were telling me that it wasn't completely in my favor. If he had a full army, I think we would have been in a little bit more trouble. The Knights of the Blazing Sun were a lot more effective than I remember them ever being. I usually do not enjoy Cav in Warhammer, but that felt a little bit more powerful. Now, I have used it in Rome 2, and in Rome 2, oh my god, it's very powerful. I can have them charge into a heavily armored group, and they'll still deal some damage. Okay. Let's get back to it. He's wounded for now. Thank you, Arch Lector. Immortal Unbeloved, the Dark King, will fall by blade, by arrow, or by sorcerer's power in the darkest magic. Frenzy. I don't know. We did use holy magic. So now he's got Frenzy by default. That's pretty powerful. And give him immortality. Let's go over here. Vindicator Grayson at level 24. What are we going to give you? We'll give you... We'll give you a warhorse now. You know what? We'll give you a warhorse and a bard of warhorse later to use in battle. Okay, so that's finally back in our control. Is that an army? Nope. Just a black arc. Can't really do much about that. I kind of wish they would just kind of give us those placeholders for navies that we had back in the day, like for Medieval 2 in Rome, where you could just build your ships and stuff like that. That at least worked a little bit better. Then we could at least have a dedicated navy. I think we get enough money to afford that, especially like late game. I don't know how they would balance it. All right. So we have that all under control. More replenishment and growth everywhere that we can go. Let's go look at our armies real quick. He's right over here. We're going to bring him down over to Columbo's port and try to rebuild that. I'm going to have him use a march stance to try to get over there a little bit faster. Let's keep on looking at who's able to move. Gel is still moving over here. He's going to be here in several turns. We're going to have him land right over here. It'll take a little bit longer, but I think he's able to move a little bit faster over water. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong, but yeah, he's going to move over there. Hans, he's going to keep on acting against every enemy that we find. Let's go over here now and have him help out instead. It looks like that rogue faction just fell apart. I don't know what happens with that. That's really weird to me. All right. Carl might have to play defensive and just catch him. Okay, you can move a little bit further. Well, good. Let's bring you over here, too. wonder if moving on land would be faster. Either way. That's what you're doing. All right, new commandment. Let's go look at what we need. We're going to pick up more public order and what can we upgrade? Wolfenberg to tier five. Great. I already have a tier three mine. I can't get much higher than that. So that's now over. So now we're just trying to keep away all the legendary leaders of the Druki who are abnormally powerful. Evidently, Morathi has anti large. Why, though? <laughs> like, why does she have that? I have no idea. That's like not really someone that I think of when I'm like, yeah, that's someone who crushes large creatures I mean if it's just like through normal magic sure but no she's terrifying okay yeah our last parts I think for each of my campaigns has been incredible it's really inhaled a lot of toxicity from our foes now let's see what they can do now let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit more Raiding. I know we're raiding our own lands. I'm just trying not to lose any soldiers due to attrition. It's really awful up here. I have a feeling they're going to Grand or something. Yeah. Do we have walls at least? If we have walls, then I'll fight it out. If we don't have walls, I'm not going to bother. No, we don't have walls, so we're not going to bother with it. If they want to retake it, that's fine. Okay, they're not going to retake it. They're just going to bother me. That's cool, too. So now I've only got two armies. One army actually trying to fight the Druki. I hate that we have to wait, but we've got three armies on the way, one rebuilding. The Arch Lector will be back. And hopefully the Druki will no longer be able to try to tag us way down there because I'll have defeated the Witch King who is down there. The Black Ark, I don't know what to do about that one yet. Auto-resolving that's awful. Again, it should be like a siege battle. That would be cool. And I think like a little bit easier to accomplish, I hope. Anyway, Doomtide, right? There is no Doomtide. 
the Doom Tide is alive. All right, let's go over to the Great Arena. Can move over to Grand. All right, take that. Repair, repair, repair. I'm gonna put a temporary Lord over here for right now. Let's go look. I can hire someone new. I won't have a name for them yet, but let's go ahead and get whoever you are. You're regal, neat. All right, who can you pick up? Those guys? Okay. Just want you to be a little bit tougher in battle. There you go. A little bit tougher in battle. I'm not going to give you loot in case you die and lose that loot. I don't want that being given to my enemies. Okay, so you'll be ready in five more turns. Thank you. When will our hero be back and our Lord Wilhelm will be back in two turns? Jean will be back in one more turn. Great. You can leave these men. All right, let's get over here then. Call nice. We now have a new province under our control. Let's help it to grow. Yeah, it's more growth. Go ahead and take that. Go over here, build that up. The Arch Lector can now move to the front lines and he's gonna be a huge help for me. Oh man, will he ever. We need him on the front lines now. Okay, let's go look. The treasure is still moving. We're just gonna have him land, I think, because there's a Black Ark not too far from me and I don't want them to auto-resolve and take out my entire force. <laughs> that would be awful. Yeah, you'll come join me. So now we have the treasurer. He's here. He'll be on the front lines in a few more turns. Where is the rest of my armies? We got one way over here. He's still traveling. We're just going to put him over here in New Templehof instead. You presume to come up. Marathi's trying to come back. Yeah, we'll just probably have him go up north and take on... Look at that. Another full stack. Oh, my God. Our battles are still going to be awful. Okay, Volkmar. Volkmar's moving down still. Yeah, he's going to be down there for a while. Hans, let's have you go after another target. Let's see who you're going after. Go after that army. And hurt them a lot. He did, too. Look at that. They were a full army now. <laughs> Not so good, huh? Okay, Alexander Anderson, let's go ahead and give you tools of judgment. You can deal more damage. Let's go ahead and end our turn again. So that turn is over, too. Volkmar the Grim. He is a grim man. A man of extremities. To purge or not to purge? That is not the question. This is, is a statement. <laughs> His statement. Yeah, so we're going to try to get Lamia because I'm trying to get like every major building that I need to accomplish every mission that I need to accomplish for the long term objectives that we have. And then who knows? After that, we might continue on a campaign if we have a dominant foe to fight. I don't know who it might be after we beat the Druki. We could end up... The Wood Elves are doing whatever the Wood Elves are doing. I kind of want to see them fight one day. What if they just begin to fight the freaking Bretonians? That would be pretty interesting, I think. Yeah, the High Elves are having a bad day. They're pushing back, though, it looks like. They were fighting one of my own people, one of my own factions. I'm like, hey, man, I don't have full control of them. And that's part of why I don't want to confederate. I don't want to get involved in that war, and I want them to continue conquering if they can. It's comical to think that one little province and a poorer one at that could just go over there and begin to conquer, but okay. Yeah, all I can do right now is just hold on to what I have. I'll probably get a lord to go colonize what I burned down before. I just didn't want to try to hold that right now. I just kind of wanted that to be gone. But I've, I've got to get like every army all over here, so I'll play defensively for a little bit until I can do that. Yeah, if you want to ally, that's fine. I don't mind you. You're not a bad person, hopefully. Let's go ahead and look at what it's about to end. But is this the same faction? What the hell? Oh, it's their wall. Okay, I was wondering. Greetings from Sigma. You have a little army now. Well, that's good. You finally built something up. I don't think you could beat any of them. I don't even know how they work functionally. Electric greed. Human conflict. Well, I'm not fighting men at all, so that's okay. We'll deal with it. Let's go look over here. Hold on, let me save. I don't want there to be any crashes or whatever affecting us. Let me go look over here. There's Bertram at level 27. You still feel like he would be like level 40 by now. He's done so much. You know what? Help me get more magical items. We've got new guys on the way, probably in a few more parts. Let me go ahead and upgrade that too. There's Gron. They're ignoring Gron for right now. I could have you globally, globally recruit some new units. 
Yeah, take a few handgunners and hold Gron for me. We need at least one person to go hold that for me. Raboth is still yes. doing her own thing. All right. You'll be ready in four more turns. Thank you, General, but I no longer need you. And you don't need any of that. Stop. Get out. Okay. Where is he at? The man from Nuln, he is back. He had to go heal up for a time, but he is now back. They did take his armor, I believe, so we're going to give him the shield of Tolos. Yeah, missile resistance might be pretty important for him. He's got the Reikland Rune Fang. I'm glad he didn't lose that. And what else can I give him? Hold on. Razor standard for more damage. Let me go look at anything that I can get. That's for magic. Hold on. Campaign movement range. I want that to go up. It's a little bit more leadership, which is okay, but I've got a better one if I wanted to have that anyway. Pit fighters attrition. I like that. Rat catcher. We'll grab that. And I think that'll work. Okay. He's back. The man from Nolan is back. Is it time? Nearly time, but not quite time. I could just kind of move over here. I don't know what they have, though. That's what I'm kind of worried about. I don't know what they will try to use against me. Take them before they get hey, man, the keep battle. them weakened for me. I'll let you keep on doing that. They've got to replenish, okay. That's why I kind of want them to come over I to help me out. Not. There's Marathi. Okay, well, I'm going to get the treasurer to go no, after her. Not until Hickson stay. Oh, no. You're going now, buddy. Okay, Alric, I think you're kind of done doing your thing for now. So you're going to leave. I'll get another lord to come over here into Starakor. And these other locations. Go ahead and upgrade that. Let me go ahead and grab a temporary guy again. No one permanent. A new faction? What's up? Oh, okay. Oh, a full faction. Neat. Led by a Skaven. Weird. Yeah, they're going back after Skaven Blight. I don't think you can hold that location. I would just burn it down. I wouldn't even try to hold it. Oh, two Bright Wizards. Neat. Yeah. Elmo Benoni. Tony is over here. The Wood Elves are doing their thing. Let's go look at what's happening. Yeah, all these factions fighting one other faction. That's pretty... Oh, they're not moving. Lame. I really wish the Rogue Armies were useful, man. They just do weird stuff. They're very erratic. All right, come over here, buddy. You'll be ready in how long? Four more turns, but you still got to replenish. That'll take you how long? Four more turns? Oh, well, good. Oh, five for that. Well, either way, it'll take you a bit to get to the front lines. I refuse this insolence. Hopefully, she can't leave so we can just get rid of her again. I need to keep her weakened. In a weakened state. All right, let's come over here real quick. Encampment. To unite the provinces. Gel is coming. He's on his way. He'll be here in two more turns. Sweet. Then, I know Volkmar. He's still traveling down there. I really wish he was over here to join us. He's got a very boring job. I could have given that to like any other lord, I guess. Too late now. He's down here, so. Okay, you own that. Let me go look at any trade that we can get. Troll Skull is not doing it. Lothern not doing it. Lothern's fighting too many factions for me to even try that. So you're fighting Nagaron. Dude, why don't you come help me out, huh? Who's over here? I saw something. Hold on. Or did I not? I thought I did. Alright, I thought I saw a Druki army or something. Evidently not. Okay, well, come over here and go after the Palace of Ruin. What? You're fighting them, too. You're also fighting the Dawi, which is making me nervous. Don't do that. <laughs> we're done. Who are you doing? Doing, anyway. All right, so we're done. Let's go ahead and look at it. Eckhard, the Monster Slayer. And you've got that in your title. You know that you've probably killed a few creatures. In turn again. Arthur Von Strotben is now moving over to the New World. I was going to use him in battle, but he's just way too good on the map. We could use him to handle our issues. Oh, that would have helped a lot, I think. If he had more support, he being General John Fuhrenberg. Yeah, it was insane seeing how many of you, so many of you were like, I'll be pissed to real if John is dead, or we'll riot. I'm like, oh my god, that is one popular man. That man could be the next emperor after Karl Franz. I'm telling you, holy crap. Well, he's not an elector count, but if he was, if he made like the right political marriage or something and became one. No, it's kind of a far-reaching one, but yeah. Anyway, 
Dude is incredible. He's a lord at least. The guys fought hard. Okay, there goes Nagaron. And now they're comparable to my power. That is awful. Do we even have anything? Oh, he's back already? That dude can heal up so quickly. We're not going to even attempt those. I like how he's not trying to retake his lands directly. It's like he knows better. It looks like they can't really recruit all their elites. If I could take out a few more vital locations for them, I could really prevent them from being able to get more black dragons. That would be nice. Or even cold one dread knights or even chariots. I mean, just getting rid of anything. But the dark shards, man, the dark shards, they have so many. That's really like the weak point that I have when I think about it. Is that if I get too many knights, I mean, the Empire has got to play a game of balancing what they bring in for their combined arms. If you bring in too much of one thing, it'll be so much weaker for other things. Still in my technology. Wilhelm is back. He better be near the front lines. I hope he is. Alright, hold on. Treasurer, where is she at? She's over here. This will bolster the nation. Well, crap. I don't know what to do about that right now. I really don't. She's going to make me play a dancing game and I hate her for it. Okay. Arch Lector, let's move you over to Nagaron. So now you're there. Let's go ahead and get that replenishment up. Sweet. Franz, can you reach it? Oh, yeah. Time for the big fight. We're going to take this location. They've got executioners. They've got a level 4 Dreadlord and a Death Hag. They've got chariots. And do they have any black dragons? No, they have a war hydra and a lot of executioners. Look at that weapon strength and charge bonus. It's very high. Do they have a lot of dark shards? Two dark shards. Three, four, four dark shards for ranged units. Okay, let's go ahead and begin the battle. But before we do that, let's look at the battle. The battlefield. Okay. Let's do it then. I'm going to have my demigurse get into it. Oh, yeah. Thick and heavy. The Battle of Harkadra. We're now fighting Arsbeth. The Emperor's here, Bertram, Ethan, Von Stahl, Fritz, all of our glorious warriors. We've got to kill a lot of executioners. I think I'm going to put my greatswords in the middle where it's going to have some buffering going on. I'll have to think about it. Not boofing, buffering. All right. It's a pretty cool snapshot of that, Lord. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, so greatswords, I want all of you kind of in the middle. Denser formations than usual. I'll always do that. Spearman, I just kind of want you to be over here and back here too. It'll be kind of a layered formation like that. I want my steam tank kind of in the middle, taking shots from my enemies. We're going to put... Wait, you're not Jean. Right. Rain of Light. An old reliable will be over here. It doesn't really matter. The arc doesn't matter. Witch Hunter, we're going to put you on the left flank. Ethan, kind of over here. Carl, I'm going to use you extensively, as you well know. I've got my hand gunners who are going to be back here too. Let's watch out. Let's just watch out a little bit for friendly fire, but I think they might be okay. Okay, knights, I want you back here. You're going to wait for now. You know, I like to spring them out when they're really needed. Bertrand will be in the middle waiting. You know what? I can bring in everyone together, and that's true. You know what? I'm going to do that. Steam tank, too. I'll show you why in just a moment. Hold on. Let's get everyone else into a group. Lock your formations. Let's go ahead and begin. And Bertram can now heal up the entire group. Heck yeah, even my steam tank. All right, let's target their dark shards. I want to get rid of their range units. After that, I can worry about other things. They're very tired. Well, good. I want them to be very tired. They're already hitting my great swords. Let me go ahead and move up real quick. And try to kill a few more of them. Carl, I'm going to have you go after probably their cold one knights. Yeah, I'm going to have you go do that. Oh, yeah, when they get a little bit closer, we can do that. True, true. Move up a little bit, steam tank. I don't like that artillery, but I can't do much about it, not yet. All right, artillery's going after them. I'll just deal with it for now. Okay, let's go into battle and go take them out. Let's go after the chariots. I'm not going to charge in yet. Demigriff Knights, come over here. We can kind of seal them off a little bit. There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come over here. Dark Riders, I'm not too worried about. Dread Knights, I'm a little bit more worried about. Yeah, go after the Dark Riders. I'm not... All right, let's go ahead and look at what we can do now. 
on the left flank, I'm going to bring in my other knights. They're going to come in with my spearmen. We'll go after all of them. There's Bertram. Let's go kill a few more. There's my tank in the middle. Ethian's going to come over here and go after some Black Art Corsairs. I want all of my greatswords to now charge in. My hand gunners are probably all going to go focus on that one War Hydra. Artillery will just keep on going with what they're doing right now. Let's go ahead and look at Carl. Let's go after the Dread Knights now. Go ahead and debuff them. Enhance your own damage. We already got them. I'm going to get my Demigriff Knights to go after that Chariot group. And then for my Spearmen, we're going to bring them back to come help out and potentially guard my units if they need to be guarded. Let's come over here and get some more Dread Knights. Come over here. Let's go contain them a little bit. We're already getting that War Hydra right now. We're about to... Come back over here and get their stupid Reaper Bolt Thrower. Let's go ahead and buff things up. Okay, let's go into slow motion just so we can check out the battle real quick. That War Hydra is done for. Good. Buff up his own defenses real quick. Let's go after them and use that. Okay. Artillery, go after those Dark Shards and over here too. They're looking pretty poor. That's great to hear. That's great to see. Okay, let's get you over here. Let's go heal them up real quick. Maybe give them more armor. And then I want you to use the Dwellers. Well, no, you're going to wait on that. I'm just going to give someone more armor. These great swords in the middle, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, do whatever you can. Okay, if they're all fighting. I need the Emperor to stay here and help out my Spearmen just for a little bit. You know what, Bertram? I'm going to have you come help him out, too. Let's go look at what else they have. We've got some more units to go fight. Let's go take them on right now. Hand Gunners, I'm going to move you up. You can go shoot whatever you want. Let's just move you right over here. Let's move more of you. Go shoot there. You'll come over here. Artillery, you're doing a great job. Demogriff Knights, you'll go after those freaking Dark Shards right now. Let's go ahead and have the Rain of Light target over here. Mortar, I want you to hit. Let me go look at her quick. Go hit over here and kill more Dark Shards. Let me go make sure every unit that I have right now is attacking something extensive and terrible. Now come over here and help me out with these Executioners real quick. And over here, Ethian's in the middle of it. He's killed 21 because, you know, he's Ethian. He doesn't give a damn. Over here, Witch Hunter's going into battle. Go ahead and use what you have to fight them all. I know Greatswords are having a pretty tough time. I've buffed up their armor to 170. Those guys are terrified now. I mean, they had a tank kind of crash into them. That's pretty pretty scary. All right. Hang on, let's go shoot these guys real quick. You'll go shoot them too. You'll come over here and shoot others. You'll come over here and charge in, go after more knights. You'll go after the chariots before they run out of ammunition and begin to bother me way too much. Come over here. Yeah, yeah, good work, good work. Other knights, you're over here. You've gone after the chariot. The chariot's nearly gone. Who's not fighting? There's just so much going on. Anyway, here's the battle as it is right now. As it's all playing out, there's my tank just kind of moving about. More great swords are moving in. We're still hitting them with a lot of artillery and everything else. Let me go look at what we have real quick. I'm going to go ahead and heal up everyone nearby. We could use the dwellers below right now to go after a few of them. Hold on, let me go look at it. How bad is it over here? Not that bad. I'm going to go ahead and enhance their damage real quick if they're fighting a melee. Then we're going to use the Wicking of the Wood. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. That might take some time. Okay, we'll wait. All right, back into slow motion because, again, I'm just trying to make sure that we're able to watch the battle. Come over here. Hand gunners, they're done, it looks like. Go shoot what you want. Oh, there's a few of them over here. Hold on. If you're done attacking, why don't you come over here and go after these dark shards? It looks like a lot of them are pretty freaked out right now. Artillery, keep on targeting these guys. Actually, go after the Reaper Bolt Thrower. Go take them out. Okay, if you're all ready and done, let's bring you back over here to go fight some more knights. We'll come over here and fight. The Emperor's still fighting a bunch of their enemies. Okay, buff them all up. For you, you can use all of your buffs real quick and go after more of them. Good work. Okay, are all my great swords fighting? Let's go look. No, they're not all fighting. Let's get them back into the battle. Come over here and attack. Bertram will now go charge in after their leader because he's a boss like that. We'll go heal up everyone over here that we're able to. We can heal up who else? Is there anyone important for me to heal up? Maybe a few spearmen. You know what? We'll be kind and help them out. Accusation, you say? All right, done. Fritz is going after them. Use your shield. Go buff them all up. Get some more great swords into the fight. Good work. Come over here. Other great swords. We've got a dread lord to go fight. Oh, are you fighting the death hag instead? I don't know what I had you go after. I had you go after something, Bertram. Anyway, let's go look at things real quick. Is he flying again? He's flying again. Okay, let's have him come over here and go after. Where's that dread lord at? I just saw him. Is that him? No. Black Art Corsair again. Oh, he's over here. Okay, so he's kind of a little bit further out. I got gotcha. you. I feel you. There he is. Okay. Yeah, we're charging at him. I've got my great swords currently hacking away at him. No shield. Pretty daring guy. Steam tank. Quite a few kills. 
You went after that group, did a great job. Oh, artillery, I don't want you attacking anymore. You're done. We won the battle, though. Completely tore them up. Tactically, we outplayed them. We even went on the offensive. Usually, I just kind of wait and react, but hey, we did it. Okay, close victory, 245 lost. If we look at that, Ethian, 92 kills. Fritz, 32 kills. The Emperor, 67. Bertram killed seven in that battle, but his magics kept a lot of people alive. Kept us all going throughout that fight. And he did a great job. We defeated another enemy army. We kept the battle fresh and going. Okay, time to occupy. We're done with that. All right, that reduces magic resistance. I mean, if you have like a magic heavy army, that could be quite beneficial. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And when we're back, we'll keep on playing. Look forward to another part tomorrow. Leave a like and comment down below and get ready for a lot of crazy battles. And again, if you have any names for our new units over here for John Furenberg, then let me know down below. I mean, if you really want me to see it though, I do have a little board for it on my Discord called, I believe, Character Ideas. So go check it out. I do have a link to my Discord link down below my video description. And that's where you can do it. It's a lot easier for me to find names if they're all in one location. Thank you for watching and look forward to another part tomorrow. Until then.